I welcome all of you on the platform of Europedia Education and as you know uh, Europedia is the leading platform which provides you counseling and guidance for various admissions in higher educational institutes like IITs and all. And my this video is related to the winter admission which is going on in IITs and IIMs. Let me tell you a couple of things here before I speak about the title of this particular video that is uh, what are the steps uh, you know which provide you assured success in winter admission. Uh, winter admission is not as competitive as summer admissions are because the students with good grade score have already taken admissions in one course or the other and they don't want to come from there and uh, you know join the winter uh, uh, interviews and all. So there is opportunity for those students who have less gate score or very uh, close to the cutoff, the gate score close to the cutoff. So they stand very good chance for admission in very good programs in IITs and that we are observing every year. Har saal what we see is like in the summers in one department if you get at 600 plus gate score, same department in the winter you can get at 400, 350 gate score also and that is a fact and there are so many videos which we have published on this particular fact that means competition is less. But still students do not take it seriously, students are not very seriously taking it thinking that they may not get it. If you follow these 5 things believe me the success rate is going to be very high. I mean there is a, a very high probability that you will get land up in a very good IIT in a very good course. As you know in uh, winter there are uh, uh, admissions in MTech courses, MS courses and PhD courses. MTech courses are less in uh, you know number of uh, courses which come out they are less but MS and PhD are there. Now these are the steps which you should follow so that you get easily into some IITs and all. Number one you should apply in more departments. Students sometimes say sir how many departments you should apply. In my uh, opinion I think in one main IIT you should apply in two to three departments like IIT Bombay, IIT Madras. IIT Madras you should apply in 2 to 3 departments, the departments in which you are confident that you know you want that, the department uh, in which you are interested apply in only those departments. Let us say you want to apply in art, uh, you know data science department or industrial engineering department or management department or mechanical engineering department. So the department in which you are interested that if you get admission you will join it. So teen se char department aise hain jo old IIT mein to aap apply kar sakte hain. And let us say there are 7, 8 IITs if you apply. So I think 20 to 30 places you are to apply, you should apply. Somewhere it is a fees is 100 rupees, 150, 200 rupees but you should apply. So if you apply 25 to 30 places let us say maybe you get interview calls or written exam calls from 5 to 6 departments and now you are to prepare simultaneously. If you go to the interviews for this physically or uh, online interview whatever then there is a probability you convert 2 to 3. So, if you apply 25 places, then you will get a selection of 2-3 places, this is statistics, accordingly you have to proceed forward. Now, if you apply 4-5 places, then how much is the probability? Then the probability may be less. So, reality is reality, I mean you need to explore more to get one of the good opportunity. And you know MS, PhD, MTech and all, you get the scholarship also. So, very first month scholarship, you have all the investment that will be in the forms, that you can get it back. So, that is not a problem. So, reality is this, you need to apply 20 to 30 places, the places where you can join, the placements are good, there you should apply. So, first is apply more and um, depending upon your choice. Second is, you know, you should have very good statement of purpose and research proposal. You should know that a good research proposal and statement of purpose or for that matter your project report of the college which should be put in the SOP also, that is written only after referring to what professors are doing in that particular program. Suppose you want to apply for earth science department, use of data science in earth science. So then you need to see what professors are doing in that particular department. So for each department you have to change your SOP SOR little bit, same SOP tum use nahi kar paoge. So aapka 60-70% SOP will remain same but yes one paragraph you have to change as per that department. Suppose you are applying in IIT Gandhinagar in two departments, so for both the departments you need to write different SOP, small changes are to be there, that effort you have to do. I mean you have to make a SOP very relevant for that department and the professors when they see your SOP they should feel that yes this SOP is written for them only, for that department only, so you have to work there also. And normally in the interview they tend to ask you question from the SOP which you have written. Third is you can mail professors also, there is no investment in that. 
and mailing the professor is always good so when you start mailing the professor you know the opportunity and the probability you're getting selection is high so mailing the professor is also one very good tactics is a very good uh, you know thing you can do mailing the professor then you know one of the very very important thing uh, nowadays is like uh, students do not have habit of going for offline interviews sometimes they are calling you like IIT Bombay will call you to Bombay for uh, interview and many students say sir should we go or shouldn't we go and all so that that thing you need to keep in mind that if you get opportunity for offline interview you must go there because competition is less why because other students also don't go that is what we have seen in summers also summers also many students avoided going offline to the in physical uh, interview and uh, the opportunities they lost so if you are called offline interview ke liye you have to uh, physically present yourself there you must go there and uh, you know you should uh, basically face that particular interview so physical interview agar kahin pe bula raha hai to tumhe jana chahiye ऑनलाइन इंटरव्यू के ऊपर जूम के ऊपर ऐसा कोई इंटरव्यू है तो पीपीटी तुम्हें बनानी है यू शुड मेक योर पीपीटी दैट इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू शुड मेक अ वेरी नाइस पीपीटी सो हाउ दैट पीपीटी इज मेड व्हाट आर द थिंग्स रिटन देयर दैट वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी देयर ऑन योर पीडी एजुकेशन यू शुड मेक अ वेरी गुड पीपीटी एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू शुड यू नो राइट एवरीथिंग देयर व्हाट यू वांट टू डू वंस यू जॉइन द कोर्स व्हाट यू वांट टू डू दैट पीपीटी यू शुड मेक and the last is you should prepare for interviews and written exam because eventually you are going to get interview call there can be written exam also written exam is similar to what you prepare for gate or university exams and then there is interview interview is largely on the basis of which department you are going which specialization you are going and what is written in sop so those things are asked in the interviews so this is how you are to prepare and you are to go so these are the five steps if you follow these five steps then the probability of your getting you know selection uh, selected in these prestigious iits prestigious courses is very high so in my opinion i think you should stick to this and the conversion can be there so just uh, uh, follow these steps keep doing it and there is tremendous uh, information on the panel and platform of your pd education you can see this all information and make your this uh, you know entire journey entire process very effective so just uh, follow these steps and uh, keep applying and surely you will get selected irrespective of what your gate score is all the very best and keep watching your pdf for further informations thank you